day folks i just wanted to experiment with connecting a few of these uh, quantum power cells in series but in other videos i've noticed the um, background ac characteristics or ac light characteristics of the cell so i decided to put an isolating capacitor in between the um, series configuration to actually block the dc and on each side here i have the meter connected and this is what we're reading about 1.2 volts so this is pretty good but this is DC so I'm gonna wait a few seconds for this to like okay yeah so there's something different here right because the capacitor how could this be we're not completing the loop but we've got 1.2 volts DC that's because we're feeding off the um, displacement currents caused by the AC fluctuations because the meter is slightly loading the cell so that's completing the circuit in a traditional battery system the capacitor would quickly charge or become equal to whatever um, current is being used to complete the loop and then block at that charge and then no more DC but since I've noticed the AC fluctuations I figured this would be a good way to block the DC out and take advantage of those fluctuations and see if we can um, get some voltage here. So as you see, it's uh, 1.2 volts on each side here. So this is the one side of the meter and this is the other side of the meter. So what's completing the loop is the capacitor, which it shouldn't, but... Um, what we're measuring is the capacitor's displacement current field. So it's a slightly different mechanism to um, manipulate the energies. Again, if this was truly a pure DC system, uh, the capacitor would just, after like one second or so, just block there'd be no more this would go zero because that's what it is it's a DC blocking but it still allows AC which we have a lot of in here apparently continuous actually so as a way to tap, another way to tap into the AC component of these cells. So I just thought I'd share this. I think it's pretty interesting. So the reason we're getting 1.2 volts is that's the meter completing the loop through the meter's um, resistance to whatever that is. And it's through this load that the capacitor um, has displacement current and would equalize to the charge and then this usually takes, you know, it's a matter of milliseconds and then the block effect kicks in. But if we could induce a steady state of current displacement, such as it is with AC, well then the effect becomes continuous, as you can see. So just keeping you up to date on the power cell, DC isolation, So I know this might be a little confusing because the meter is set to DC. It's reading the DC through its internal load, which could be, I think it's in the mega ohms. Which is still pretty interesting because it's still, you know, um, not closed electrically anyways. So we're messing around with displacement and AC fields.